Hello and welcome Zamora Gaming fans, I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and I am bringing you another episode of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And if you can't tell by the title of the video, we have a new friend! Oh my god, my phone is loud. But yeah guys, we got a new friend here, we got Zelda the Wolf, I mean uh, Link the Wolf. Wolf Link, there we go. I got it right. Give me 20 chances and I'll finally get it. But he'll be joining us on our journey today. Hopefully I remember to bring him along every time. Don't believe me? Let's go, pal. You and me. Right here, right now. You want to challenge a second place Hyrule Taming Competition winner to tame off? You got it, mister. Okay. That's the spirit. The only rule is that you must bring a wild horse back to this spot within the time limit. This area is chock full of wild horses. Any one of them will do. My record is two minutes flat, so you need to bring back a wild horse within that time. Prepare for extreme taming. Okay. Let's go get a horse. Uh. Now we're gonna find a goddamn horse. And not spook it. Hopefully this dog doesn't scare him away. Okay. Here we go. Ah, oh, shit. Dog's gonna scare away the horses. Now, which horse should we go for? Should we go for Spot Butts or Black Beauty? While Wolf Link distracts the monsters, we're going to go ahead and go for Black Beauty here because it's paying the least amount of attention. I really hope that thing doesn't distract the horses. Oh, god dang it. Alright, we didn't get that one. Our stamina is really low. So let's see if we can tame this one. Alright, that one was easier to tame. Now let's go ahead and take this thing back while we have a chance. It's okay, come on. Come with me to this horse stable. Good horsey. We did it just in the nick of time. I can't believe you beat my two mini record so easily. I mean, I won second place at the Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. To be fair, it was just my brother and I competing. Anyway, here's the purse for winning the second official horse. Winning the second official Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. You've earned it. Okay, cool. Purple Rupee. Alright, you can leave. I already have a horse. Alright, let's talk to more people and see what we can do here. Oh, you again. Are you interested in my research? No, I'm not. Okay. Let's talk to these guys again. So, Miko's treasure, huh? Ah, shoot. Well, can't say I don't try to throw you off. Hey, Deck, why don't you just tell him? Maybe he'll leave us alone if we do. I mean, if we can't figure out this riddle, there's no way someone like him would be able to. Oh, damn. Alright then. Dickhead. That's a good point. That's why you can't even grow a real beard, douchebag. We're after nothing less than the treasure of Misko, the great bandit. Finding out, finding it would mean incredible riches. I'm not able to give this information away for free. I'm no fool. That's the keen sense of the strongest treasure hunter of the world. No gold left behind. Not by my Domadek. Oh, not by Domadek. You have a stupid name. Would you like to know for a hundred rupees? No, a thousand rupees. Ah, sure. Why not? Here's a hundred rupees. Way to go, Jack. You did it. The little twin steeps over the little river. My cave rests above the river's source. Misko hid the location of the treasure in some kind of strange secret code. I heard this from a former dog walker of one 
of Misco's underlying descendants, neighbors. Jesus Christ. As solid as lead, as solid a lead as any. Just knowing something with good intel like that. Exactly what I expect from you, Dak. Okay, wow. Well, all that mumbo jumbo gets us at least in a foot in the door on that adventure. Let's go ahead and see what this lady has to say. So nice here. Travis don't really come by. Neither monsters. Oh, yeah. I know all about them. I don't need you to tell me about elixirs. Give me the apples. Did I ask you if I needed permission for these apples? I just took them. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we're going to do next, actually. Like I said, we have our dog companion here, and we got a free horse. So, let's go ahead and get it going. No one else really had a quest for us, but, you know, maybe it's actually worth a shot looking for that treasure chest. Let's go ahead and look it up with exactly what it says. Alright, the treasure hunters, Domadak, and Presson accidentally hinted a riddle at a riddle. The little twin steeps over the little river. My cave rests above the river's source. It could be that finding this treasure will grant you riches beyond measure. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the map. You know, zoom in. Okay, so the little river. Where is the little river? We're by one, aren't we? Okay. Guessing it's somewhere near here. That didn't really help us. I have no idea. The little twin steeps over the little river. My cave rests above the river's source. I have no idea. Oh, well. Because, I, I mean, there's a river right here on the map. But whenever I go here, that's the only river it shows. The little river. Guessing it would be over here. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, well, whatever. We got places to be. So let's go ahead and actually get to where we needed to go. And let's go... Locked Mementos. Or is the village a better place to go to? Oh, wait, I don't think we go to that village yet. Okay, it's fine. You know what? Let's stop debating and actually get somewhere. So let's go ahead and go this way. Stop being rude. Oh, that's a pretty horse. Blue with the white. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you are having a great day today. I had a good day. Come on, stop being a bitch, horse. And then we have our wolf dog following us, so that's pretty cool. Keep running. We gotta get somewhere. Thought you liked me. Yeah, this horse ain't having it. This is lazy. How far does that thing go? How far is that thing actually is what I meant to say. It might be on our pathway to where we need to go. Hmm. A lot of enemies around here. And do we have that check marked already? We do. So that's the blue thing. Uh... Let's check our map here and see if we're going to actually pass it. We might pass it. We'll see. Huh. 
Sorry, horse. Gotta get this raw meat. Okay, come on. Let's make it through this little force field of fucking robots. Hate these things. Alright. I think the last time I played, I came from a different way. Because I, I, I came through this way a, a, at a way different time. Don't remember it too much, though. Hey. Hi, my name's Garil. Come to see the fort? How do you know I take it? Figured as much. It's well worth seeing. Fort Atino here was the last line of defense between Hatino Village and an awful tragedy all those years ago. Everyone's got to come pay their respects at least once in their life, right? I guess so. I know there's a secret shrine around here. I need to talk to the old man. Sorry. Sorry, horse. I keep jumping off you. But I gotta go to this house right here. I gotta talk to this guy. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. I'm not wrong, am I? It must be around here. What are you up to? Ha! Huh, you just barged into my house. What the fuck? Let me guess. You caught wind of the great Dr. Kalip's groundbreaking research and just had to meet him yourself, eh? No? Don't tell me you've never even heard of me. After I've... After I've decided my life to research in an an the ancient shrines? <sighs> well, you better remember my name, for it's not the last you'll hear of it. And while I'm at it, it's Dr. Kalip. If you please. I didn't study my rear end off to be called Mr. Kalip. Everyone forgets I'm a doctor for some reason. And since you asked, I'll inform you that I'm engaged in anal analyzing ancient text. I, have, I haven't time for idle chat. Ancient text, you say? Soon my long years of research will be revealed, and all the world will hell its... It has the discovery of the century. I can't fucking read tonight. Jesus Christ. To prevent any undue attention, I haven't even told my family about my work. You understand? I'm sure. Of course, Dr. Kalip. Doctor. Oh, yes. Did I did I just hear you call me doctor? As in not merely Kalip, but Dr. Kalip? You rolled off your tongue so naturally. Okay. It was downright salivary. Salivary? Salivary. Salivary. Hmm, this changes things. Very well then. I'm feeling charitable, so I'll give you a... F I'll let a few things spill. This is just between us, understand? When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce his gaze and purged and the, 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 the soul from the shrine. I'm still in the process of deciphering that one, so I don't suppose there's any harm in sharing it with you. That's my whole life in a nutshell. Days filled with researching shrines and nights spinning, spent studying ancient text. That leaves no time to converse with the passing strangers, so farewell. Alright, Chris Statue. Oh yeah, give me those choo-choo jellies. I like this, I like this dude. Wolf Link. He's uh he's hooking it up with some free animal stuff. Oh shit. Nope. I'm running away from you. Come on, let's go. Let's hightail it out of here, if you know what I mean. Calm down. We're good. Get your hiney over here. Whoa, that looks like there'd be a shrine in there, right? Uh-oh. Here comes the blood moon. Tonight, the blood moon's arising. And all the dead monsters are coming back to life. Ooh, look at that. 
Oh, man. Should I even kill them? Because, I mean, they're just going to come back to life, right? Okay, cool. No, they're alive now. Link. Oh, here we go. And that is a good time to let y'all know that I am on a quest for a hundred followers. So if y'all would so much care to help me on that adventure, I believe we are at 86 as of right now. So if y'all can help me out, get me to a hundred followers, I would be very much appreciated. So I can start getting more content up on stage or on stage. God damn it. On, on Facebook. Ugh, I can't even promote myself tonight. I'm all out of it. Ooh, and a shrine appears. But yeah, guys, uh, 86 followers. I need to be at 100, so please leave a follow, leave a like, and share it where you can so your friends can enjoy just as much as you are enjoying right now. All right, let's go ahead and take on this shrine here. Oh, my God, the dog's trying to get that thing. Yep, got him. I'm going to be stocked up on a bunch of meats, thanks to this dog here. Alright, and let's see what this shrine holds. Yeah, we got to switch that. Probably Magnesis, why not? Skip. Alright guys, uh, metal weapons create sparks. That can do something. Alright, let's see what this trial... Oh yeah, this is a stasis one, actually. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. It's too high. You know what? Let's get these out of here. I don't think we need those. No. God dang it. Do I need those? I don't think I do. Well, there's upside down stairs. Ah, oh, okay. Never mind. I was upside down. Man, this, this little scene is trippy. Alright, so now we know that we need to stop this here. Get across. Alright, now we're here. Now, I do want that chest, so I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for it. I'll do it again. Dang it, I think I overshot it. What's in here? Give me that. Oh, soldier spear. I'll take it. And now I gotta go back up. 
Okay, let's see what we have here today. Alright, going back around. All because I wanted a freaking... Freaking soldier's spear. You know, I thought it was going to be something better, honestly. Something that make me money or something. But I guess not. Whoop. Alright, so now we are here. And we need a jump! Jump! No, I jumped too late. Ah! Shit. Well, that sucks. Well, time to start over. Welcome, Linda, to the stream. My beautiful, beautiful wife. Quaff. All right, now we can jump across here and jump on this. So I gotta stop it again. No, 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 son of a bitch. Okay, at least now I know what to do. I won't fuck up this time, I promise. I gotta wait for my thing to restore so I can stop the other gear and jump on top and then then I have to stop the gear again to get the stairs up there and yeah 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 there we go third time's a charm okay and now I gotta wait Okay. Now we can stop. There we go. Okay. Break the stasis. Wait for the stairs. Of course, we need the stairs. We need to get up the stairs. Okay. Stop. Woo! -hoo. A little early, but it still works. He's a genius. Now give me that shrine piece. Or whatever it's called. Alright guys, we finally got another shrine under our belt. Let's see how many do we have? We have five. Okay, so we still need to go get a heart container. So, we'll go do that. We are on a quest for 13! 13, 13 heart containers so we can get the master sword. And then we can start building up our stamina, because Jesus Christ. Stamina is not something you want to be without in this game. Hold me on tonight. Ooh, I still got my horse. Even though it's a bitch-ass horse, for sure. Where's my dog? Did I lose my dog? Aw, oh, man. Yeah, I lost my dog. Oh well, I don't feel like getting up and s doing the stupid thing again, so. I'm good with that. Oh, what is that in the tree? What is that in the tree? It shined at me. Is there something in this tree? It looked like there was something in it. I guess not. Oh, a little boulder guy. Whoa, where's my horse? Huh, I'm told I'm all turned around. Whoa, that was another boulder guy. Damn it, I was trying to get that lizard. I know I need a few of those. Deuces. All right, all right. So I guess once you go in, oh yeah, don't want to go over there. But um, I guess once you go into the thing, yeah, I'm not gonna talk to that lady. It's probably a chic slate person, or the chic whatever it's called. Ooh, ooh. 
Give me that. I found a shrine. Whoa, what are you doing, horse? Tell me the dumbass. Go this way. I don't think I've ever been that way. Maybe there's a shrine down there. I don't know. I'm just I'm just hyped up. I found a shrine. Woohoo! Okay, that's not the way to go. Let's go this way. Maybe we'll find something. Relax. Oh my god. There's a lot of monsters around here. Whoa. Aw, oh, stupid horse. Yeah, go fuck yourself, you moblin. Get fucked. Where'd my horse go? What are you doing? Stupid horse. It's okay. Stop running away. No, no shrines down there. It's okay. Let's go. Let's get moving. Don't worry, horse. I get it. You're scared. I'm scared, too. Man, there are a lot of monsters around here. What was the point of even that? Get away. No. It's okay. Run. Do you want to die? Because this is how you die. It's okay. It's okay. They'll feast on your flesh, not mine. Alright, so there is a way. I think if I use the flame ones, I'm fine. It'll catch them on fire. Why aren't they disappearing? Aren't they supposed to disappear? Yeah, they disappear. Sweet. Although it takes a while, but it goes away. Okay, so it seems like there is a pathway I have to take. <sighs> Alright, let's go. See if I have the stamina for this. Doesn't seem I will. I hope so, because if I fall on these thorns, I'm dead. Come on, you're almost there! Make it! Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make it. I am. I am gonna make it. I'm just gonna make it. Am I gonna make it? No. Keep going. You fool! Oh, I made it. That almost sucked. Okay, let's go up. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, testing the limits of our stamina here. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. I think we can make it. So go here. Alright, let's go. You got this, Link. I believe in you. Not really, but I believe in you. I believe in the me that believes in you. Yeah, let's stop here. Ooh, look at the beautiful view. Uh, I don't see no shrines, though. View's getting a little less beautiful without these shrines. Can't even see the shrine I found already. But I do see the next town, so that's good. So I just got to take that little trail, and I'll be there. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a moblin. All right, cool. Let's go ahead, work our way up this tower, save the princess, and be on our way. Just kidding. There's no princess at the top of this tower.
Oh boy. Let's see what we can find up here. There we go. Alright. Now we put our Sheikah Slate on here and it unveils part of the map for us. Oh, my arm hurts. Yeah, man. I mean, ain't that some shit? All this uh, fucking camera angle and you can't see any shrines. I don't even remember how I did so many shrines the last game. It's ridiculous. Scanning area. <laughs> I got the iPhone 20. You can get it with all you want. It's not gonna happen. Alright guys, it appears we have the new section of the map shown to us. Wow, that that thing is far as fuck. It doesn't look as far in the game. But it is. Uh, let's see what we see. Man, that's, that's a lot of shit. What are those pink things? Oh, stupid. It's Ganon Dwarf. What's down there? Oh, okay. Got blocked off. Assassin's Creed. No, no, no. What are you doing? Put that thing away. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me. So help me. So help me. Oh, man. I already have that one marked. It's not a shrine, but, you know. Something that might help me find more shrines. Alright, I don't think I'm going to use my horse anymore. I'm going to go ahead and fly. Fly like an eagle to the sea. What is that? It's not a shrine, is it? Nope. Oh, man. All I want is shrines. Men only want one thing, and it's disgusting. I want a fucking shrine. Not fuck a shrine. I want a fucking shrine. Oh, look. I found one. Oh, man. I can't get it from here. Ooh, yeah. Getting close. My stamina is getting drained too though so that sucks this game sucks it's still in view so that's all that matters Whew. just enough stamina to stay in that alright and that one I believe is one of those I do not like it's one of those fighting ones should we talk to this person cause it's risky. Um, let's go ahead. Man, we have no mono. We have no. S what do you call it? What was it? Hmm. What was the word? I can't go into my. Oh yeah. Think. All right, the Hillian champion. So I've heard. That's right. Your link. Lay down your life. Fuck! I knew it. Damn it. Damn it. This lady's hard. Yes, finally. Whew. <sighs> she beat us into an inch of our lives.
We're going to keep that and get rid. And what do we get rid of? I guess that. We don't really need too many of those. And we're going to get this Helian rice. I thought it was wheat. But it's not. It's rice. Let's go ahead and work our way up this mountain here. Because, you know, sometimes at the top of tippy-to-top mountains, there's stuff that is useful to us. So let's go ahead and find out if it's true. Oh, yeah. What is that? I already have that one. Is there another one? Go ahead and check at the top of this mount. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, shit. I let it get away. All right. Let's go ahead and make our way up this mountain. Okay. That's nothing. But there's a puzzle. Where do we put this? No, wrong thing. Alright, let's do the metal thing. There we go. Let's put this up here. No. Guess not. Alright, let's put it on the other one. Then I put it on right. Oh, that's where we put it. Come on. There we go. Yes. Figured it out. You found me. Kuroko see. Now we can hopefully get more weapons in our inventory. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see. Coming this way. Trying to make our way to the top of the tippity top mountain. Man, I still don't see no extra shrines. Name of the game, and you can't fucking find any. Let's see if we can climb this thing. I know it's raining, so it's gonna be a little tougher, but. I think it rains less once you beat the water one. The water beast. <laughs> yep, that wasn't happening. Tell me there's a way. Once there was a way to climb a mountain without fucking slipping every 20 feet. Son of a bitch. Damn it. I fucking hate this game. Why is it raining? There's no reason for it to be raining. It's nighttime. It's been raining for like three days in this game. Alright, fine. We'll ignore it for now. Or maybe not. Is this the way up the mountain? I like to do it the other way though, where I climb. It's quicker some for some reason. It's like they want you to climb. Oh, I'm not ready for that one where you can't... You climb, but you have to carry a ball. Oh, I am so not ready for that one. Oh, shit. Come on. Get up there. What's at the top of this mountain? Okay, there's that shrine again. Oh, look. It stopped raining. Woohoo! It's about time. It's only 8 o'clock at night. Oh, look. There's a little lake at the top of this mountain. Very interesting. Stop climbing. Run up this mountain. Use them legs. Got this. Got this. Just a little bit more. And we are at the top. Bop, bop, bop. To the top. We are going to find out what's up here. That's the one I already found. I need to go steal these fairies. 
it's a broken heart. Aww. It's fucking bad. Got it. Come here, fairy. I just want to put you in my pocket. Yes. Got all the fairies. Where's the frog? Did it dip? It dipped. Do you have a quest for us, sir? You here to meet your soulmate, too? Huh? Hey, don't be shy. I'm here for the same reason, after all. Why else would anyone come all the way up here for a shrine? To be honest, though, I've been waiting for a pretty long time, and, well, nobody's shown up yet. I thought it was the Sweetheart's Pond everyone talks about. But maybe I'm in the wrong place. No. Maybe I'm your soulmate. Psych! Okay, let's see. Ooh, another shrine. Damn right I'm gonna go to that shrine. Okay, I don't have enough... What do you call it to get here, though? To get there? <sighs> and I may never again. What is over there anyway? I know that one's just outside the map. But I think I can make it over there from here. Question is, do I want to risk it? I do know something that's over there though, and I don't want to fight that thing. But, let's see. I don't see any more shrines. Maybe I should get to that city first. And then make my way back up here. Well, you know what? Let's do the shrine that's right next to the mountain. So, we can just easily climb back up the mountain from the shrine. Well, you know, easily. But if it's raining, it's going to be a pain in the fucking ass. Oh, don't you get the just heebie-jeebies just flying over that land like this? It's like, oh no, I could fall and die to my peril. But it's a video game, so it's like, why are you tripping? Hatino Village. Ah! Yes! Two in one. We found the shrine and the city all at the same time. Skip that. Don't care. Monsters on the lookout and watchtowers will sound the alarm if they spot you. Defeat those foes first before they alert the others. Okay, cool. Thanks. Didn't help me for shoot. Okay, Mayhem Agena Apparatus. Agana Apparatus. Oh, she Nikes. It's one of these. So we gotta use the controller to control this. This is gonna be tough. So, just be prepared for that. But, it'll be fun. So, this is like the gyro ball thing. So, however you move your controller is how you're going to move this ball. And you got to try to get this ball. You know what? I'm going to do that. Hold on. More. A little bit more. That should be good. I'm going to go get that treasure chest. Because I'm a sucker for treasure chests. Ah! I almost fell to my doom. I almost done goofed. But I didn't. So. Oh, man. Am I going to be able to make this? Whew. Nope. Not that time. I think it's got to be slanted just a little bit more. Foom. Yeah, a little bit more. Can you die in the shrine? I don't think so. I think it just takes your... Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> so the fairies give you an extra life. It's kind of like having... 
one of the guardian's abilities on you at all times. So good thing we have a, we we had a couple of fairies at our disposal there. All right, let's put it down a little bit more so we can actually get on that thing cuz I want it. I don't know what's in it. But I want it. That should be good. Oh shit, I almost fell <laughs> inadvertently. Son of a whore. Come on, man. Get your shit together, Link. Don't you want to get that treasure chest? Alright, one, two, three, jump! Oh yeah, I just made it. And it sucks because you can't go pick up the, the ball. Phrenic bow. Okay, well that seems like a waste, but I'm going to take it anyway. Drop. Drop it like it's hot because it's trash. Hot trash it is. Alright, phrenic bow. Alright, so we know which way we want it to go. Look at the ball. No! Maybe? Can we? Can we cheat the system? Fight the power! Alright, let's hope we make it, because i would never done that before. Woo! So that's an easy, quick fix way to get away from there. So as you can see, if you don't put the ball in the correct spot, you will let it fall to its doom, and you will have to start all over from the beginning. So let's try to get this on the first try here. All right. Okay. Come. Come to Papa. Okay. So far, so good. Oh man. Slightly. Slightly. We're patient. We're patient. Nope. There we go. And that's what we want. Alright, here we go. Nope, come this way. Alright. Line it up. And fling! Yes, we did it on the first try. Woo! That is beautiful. Amazing. Wonderful. That's what I always knew would happen. Hell yeah, we are skilled to the max. Digga 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 digga. You smart motherfucker. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and get this shrine. Slowly but surely, we are working our way to get through all these shrines. <sighs> slowly. Emphasis on slowly. Jesus Christ. But we got six, so that's good. Oh, boy. Long day, long day. How is y'all's day going? Mine's going pretty good. Straight chilling. Had a good day at work. Everything went smooth. And now, I'm here playing Zelda with you guys. What could be better than that? Where'd everybody go? Let's go talk to the town watchman. You got a pitchfork, like, that's gonna do something. Whoa! Who? Who are you? I demand answers. If you're up this late, you're probably up to no good. I'm traveling. Oh, well then that's all right. You certainly do appear to be Hillian, like the rest of us. Hillians are generally good folk, so sorry for getting all worked up. I thought you were black. You're free. You're free to go. 
We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of an adventure of a traveler. Well, you can get most things you need at the general store and the inn. It's just back there. Yeah, whatever, racist. Stay away, monsters. Do you have a final destination in mind for your journey? Like, uh, the last place I want to visit is the Spring of Wisdom. I really want to recreate the journey that Princess Zelda experienced. I just love and respect her so very much. Shut up. Just shut up. Hey, Nariz, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for keeping me company as I journey along this long journey of Zelda. How's your day going? Mine's going alright, like I said. We gotta do a few things. We certainly gotta go find a place to pray so we can get our health, health thing up just a little bit. And then, what else is there to do in this rinky dinky town? Oh, yeah, you gotta catch, like, fucking grasshoppers and shit. Okay, fuck the pot lid. Hey, come on in. Fast as sure you so early in the morning. Best place to rest up in all the Hento village is Tunpu Inn. If you plan to stay, just talk to the clerk across the counter. Okay. I'll do that. Hey, donkey. You dumbass. Ba -da 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 oh, man. Such beautiful scenery around here. Hey, what's up, fat ass? Checking everyone out today, too. The check-in just never stops. Ever stay at the tampoon Inn? Nope. If you're not staying there, then... I suppose to check out everyone who comes into town. Right, right. Thought so. I know things have been peaceful recently, but the outside world is still pretty dangerous, yeah? So, I gotta check and make sure if there's any beauty or, I mean, suspicious folks around here. Beauties? If you're lucky enough to stay at the Topu Inn, you'll see what I mean. Say hello to Primarina for me, or Prima for me. Not that she even knows who I am. This is tough. I've got to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima at the Tampu Inn would like? Just take a guess. It's not for me. You understand? It's for, uh, uh, my buddy's, uh, friend. Uh, yeah. A gift for my beloved. Yeah? What is it? Uh, oh yeah. Let me go talk to the lady then. This is a quick little side quest. Took me forever to do because I didn't know how to look for fucking crickets. But I figured it out eventually and I got it. Under wraps. Better look at night though. Come on then. Welcome to Top Boon Inn. A regular bait is 20 rupees. Or if you're looking for a more relaxing, restorative mind and body experience, you can have an extra salt bed down each bed for 40 rupees. No thanks. Come back again soon. Alright, time to talk business. Sir, do you need something from me? Um, what do you like? Why is he asking? Whatever, I'll just say something random. I have a boyfriend. I'll tell you something that I really like. Crickets. It's my dream to have my very own collection of a hundred restless crickets. As if. Whatever, you slob. You're the kind of woman no one likes to talk to. Alright, where's the fat ass? We got the dumb ass, but where's the fat ass? Hey! Yeah? Oh, what is it? I talked to Prima. Oh, I talked to Prima. What? Prima told you what she wants? Prima never even talked to me. Uh -huh. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. So then, uh, what is it? Restless crickets. Prima wants restless crickets and a hundred of them? Ha ha ha, what a small world. I love restless crickets. I'm a connoisseur of them. I think that's what that word means. But catching a hundred of them, it's gonna be tough. Think you can help me by getting started on those? How about you get me, um, ten of them? i get you something nice for your troubles. Okay, sure. Hey, 
All right, just cut the grass and eventually you'll find crickets. Come on again, it's better look at night. Dirty, dirty, dirty. You gotta look out, traveler. It's your first time here in Tino Village? Well, you're in luck because you have a lifelong resident to show you around. Yes, please. Ah, oh, shit. No, thanks. There's no crickets. Mm, really nice. Nice. Maybe if I look in the outside world. No crickets. Look at that. Ain't that some shit? I thought crickets would be everywhere. Hmm. I guess not. Can I have a cricket, please? Can I have a cricket, please? Well, that's a waste. I'll check one more thing of grass. Yikes, somebody help me, please. Should we be a good guy? Yeah, let's be a good guy. Yeah, one strike, one kill. For you. That was exciting up until it turned terrifying. Thank you for your help. All right, cool. She gave me some steamed mushrooms. Cool. Thanks for nothing, I guess. Breathe in, breathe in. All right, you're looking for truffles. But yet they got... Tortured by a fucking wild beast. Um, I'm looking for crickets. All I'm finding is hilly and rice. Alright, by the tree? You would think by the tree, right? Yeah, I guess you just gotta look at night. Or, like, late in the afternoon. Because I can't find not a goddamn cricket. Dude, how much grass do I gotta cut? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. No, no restless crickets during the day. It's fine. I didn't even want a cricket anyway. Stupid game. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and continue on with our journey by walking up this goddamn mountain. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh, hey, Traveler, what's going on? Are you lost? Where are you looking to go? I don't know. All right. Bad. You look troubled. Where are you trying to go? Very strange place. Very strange place, huh? Only one you could, place you could mean is the eastmost structure in this village. At the top of the hill. Yep, that's what you mean. I do know an ancient tech lab, right? Its director does research there every day. Supposedly, it's all safe and blah, 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 and this and that. A strange place, huh? That could mean a lot. Are you talking about our resident, Mr. Toothy? I mean, his shop's not called that. It's called the Die Shop, but he is weird. His real name is Sage, and he definitely is the master of dying clothes, but he's also master of weirding me out. You looking for anything else? No, I'm, I'm good. I you see you're homophobic, but okay. Yeah. Hey, mister. What's up, buddy? You'll never guess what I found, see? Sure, I do. Can you follow me? Oh, damn it. It's this fucking kid. I don't want to follow you. I'm going to go look for the other kid who wants to see swords and shit. Yeah. 
<laughs> Aha, fun to run, fun to run. I love to run. Love talking. Ask me questions. What do you like? I love my mommy. But my mommy, she's always taking with, she's always talking with a friend. You're not supposed to interrupt them. The only way I would be able to uh, talk to her when she's with her friend is to sneak up from behind. Talk more. What do you like to do? I like catching bugs, shiny bugs. Crouch down and quietly approach the bug. If you want to do that, you'll catch the bug. Talk more. What do you like? <laughs> want shiny jewel, shiny money, love. Huh? Mister, what is it? Do you have topaz? Sell it. Be rich. Talk more. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. She teaches you how to sell, how to buy bugs. I mean, <laughs> how to catch bugs and sell topaz. Hey, mister. Did you come from the big wor white world? You got a bow and a sword? Yeah, I am. I bet you got all sorts of different weapons, right? So, do you want to help a kid's dream come true? My grandpa's dead now. Oh, wow. Way to drop the fucking heart feels on me. But when he was alive, he loved weapons. Though, he never got to see the ones he wanted. So, bring me and show the... Okay, yeah. Hmm, where should we start? Have you heard of a traveler's sword? I've seen it in books, but never in real life before. Alright, come here, you little fucker. Hey, did you find a traveler sword? Oh. Oh, it's traveler's claymore. I need a traveler sword. Shit! Hey, have you heard? Wow, really? What's your problem? How dare you try to eavesdrop on our business? Honestly, young people these days... Alright, I gotta try to eavesdrop on him. Sneak up from behind. Ooh, what's that? I never noticed a ladder here before. What's this? What's that? There's magic in the air! What's that? What's this? Oh, I'm in someone's house. That's it. That's all it is. In someone's house. How lame. Open the door. What are you doing? Whoa, what the hell? Okay, well, I talked to everyone I could. Still can't find no goddamn grasshoppers. And then here's the weird guy that everyone was talking about. Or is it this guy? Yeah, it's that guy. He's fucking creepy. Okay, okay, I've got this. Greeting time. You're a customer, right? My mistake. I don't know about any mistake, but if you don't need anything, move on, okay? I've got greetings to do. Okay. That is one way not to get clientele. Hmm. Good day. You're a traveler, aren't you? Then listen up. Okay, I'm listening. You see those three trees up top of the snowy mountain there? I found a small letter stuck between the pages of this old book at my house. It said, when the three trees, when the three summit trees become one, turn you back to them and head towards the sea. A trial encased in stone awaits you. Uh, there, excuse me, Jesus. I don't know what that means. But maybe it means we have to head to Afram, Afram Sea K coast, which is just east of those three mountains on the tree. Oh, I can't read. Somebody help me, I'm having a stroke. For the trial in case in stone. Bit, I wonder if you can get some kind of treasure from doing that. But I have a child, I can't just go off on a journey across the mountains. But you can do that, right? You'd be great at that. Go on, head out there and bring me back treasure. Screw you, lady. No, I wanted to kill one. Okay, guess I can't. Look at that tree over there. Old lady, little kid, la la la. It's true, I really saw her. Oh, oops. Hey, hey, sorry. What do you mean? What did you see? This girl standing up at the Antino Tech Lab. I saw her come outside. She was right over there. It's true. But when I tried to tell a grown-up about it, they said the only people who lived there are an old man and an old woman. She was a Sheikah 
she was a chic and girl, I swear. No one ever listens to kids. Okay, well, that's, that's, okay, cool. I don't know how to respond to that, so I'm not going to respond to that. Uh, let's see. No shrines. Maybe I could steal something from this house here. Hmm, nothing worth stealing, honestly. Whoa, what does that say? Something about... Lizard and... Horns. So witch! Alright, let's try to make our way up to the top here. Oh man, there's gonna be that stupid torch quest. I hate that thing. It's not hard, but ugh. I need so many torches. I need like three. Hey lady. What a nice breeze. It doesn't carry that tang of salt on it though. Oops, I forgot we just met. I was reminiscing about the hometown of Laurel Laura Lynn. Lure Lynn Village by the Sea. The view of the air are different. The view and the air are different here in Hatino Village, but this is where my wonderful husband calls home. I count myself lucky to be able to live and work alongside such a wonderful, loving man. It's a small fishing community far to the south. I lived there before I moved here with my new husband. We had to cross the bridge of Hilia to get here. Weighted down with everything I couldn't bear to leave behind. Think thinking back on it, I wonder either of it ugh. looking back on it, it's a wonder either of us survived the trip. Okay. Way to give me your whole goddamn life story in like two seconds. I applaud you. Okay. So you can see a little shit a little blue fire over there. Man, you can't see no nothing else though. Where's the, where's the shrines, man? The shrines. I mean, there's those shrines over there, but I don't have time to go over there. They'll pay. They'll all pay. Hey, you. Yes? What do you want? Oh, don't act so clueless. Although, fine. You seem harmless enough. Forgive me. I just been on an edge with all these monsters running around. They come up from Hatino Beach to steal my sheep. If something, if someone doesn't do something soon, I won't have any left. Okay. Well, now I gotta go fucking do that. Yes. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. Well, that was a waste of an interaction. Thought more would happen, but I guess not. I don't have no horse, so I gotta run everywhere. Oh, you're the little peeping Tom over here? Everyone's been talking about? Yeah, there's no point in talking to that kid. There's no shrines or quests or anything that happens. Aww, as far as the eye can see, and you can't see shit useful. But it's crazy how it's like nice and subtle over here. You know, and then it's like fucking freezing over there. Nope, nothing there. One can dream, can't he? And I know there's a shrine over there hidden in that shrine quest thing. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. But for now, I'm going to talk to this lady here. Hatino, Ancient Tech Lab. Hello. This is Hatino, Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. The director is in the back. A terrible busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Hmm. Hello. I imagine you've never seen many books in this place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all the Hyrule and Hyrule's known literature of ancient civilizations here. As far as the actual number of books, well... Hmm. Is that... That thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If 
you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis, ah, Magnesis, yes, yes. The remote bomb and cryonesis. Ah, what else? Let's see. Uh, so that's it for the runes, but, um, strange. It doesn't seem like you have the ba- it does- uh, It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why you, what they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are Link, right? You know my name. Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah Slate would appear. And you must be you must do all that you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Director, listen, Mrs. Director. This is the real Sheikah Slate. Director? Oh, that's right. I have introduced you to our director. Hey, Jeremy. Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you for showing up. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrulean culture. I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be your assistant. On that note, Link, you see, the director may look like a young girl, but, well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. Okay, cool. Hey, lady. <laughs> hey, hey! Are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon, it's me! Snappity snap. Anyway, Linky. Do you remember any dreams from your rest time in the re slumber of restoration? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't talk worth fucking shit. You don't like... You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last hundred years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? You, just, you do still remember me, don't you? Yeah, I remember. Hmm. I heard the hesitation in your voice. Even though, a hundred years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you, even though I was the one who put you in the safely into the slumber of restoration. You don't remember me! Despite all that, you still don't remember me? Dot dot dot. Hmm, as expected. After a hundred years of slumber and restoration, Subject has lost all memories. Noted! Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, anywho. Mmm, God. Do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But... The whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are after a hundred years. Here to defeat the Calamity Ganon, who has grown in strength every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero. I, the one and only Pyrrha, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sugar Slate. And... What do you say to that? Yes, please. I knew you'd say that. Alright then. First I need you to run an errand for me. Of course. What's with that look on your face? You didn't think I'd face your shika slave for free, did you? I did. Hmm. Post of slumber. Subject is played to presumptions, tendencies. Noted. Let me explain what the errand entails. You know the little unlit furnace on the wall just to the bread? Can you please bring blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and use it to light the furnace art. Also, use it to light our furnace? This sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Huh, I wonder if a woman these days still say things like sweet and little. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, then. I'm counting on you for that blue flame. Okay. So, we got some shit to do. Alright, guys. I can't carry any more melee weapons. That sucks, but we do got to get rid of some of these because they are all metal. And metal can't catch fire. Certainly taking this torch 
And then we are going to take a torch from the city somewhere. I'm sure they have one. And I'm flying all the way downtown. Look at me go flying. I'm flying, flying. Jesus Christ, can you fly any slower, Link? Jesus. Alright, so we do got to go over there. But I do feel I need one more torch. Oh, I almost knocked over that child. Um, I think a ladle would work. I had burn too fast, right? Let me go kill one of those uh, moblin things. Oh, you know what? Maybe there's already a torch over there. Why would the game make it that easy? I don't know, but maybe. You never know. It's worth a shot. Hey, you lowly farmhand. Oh, are you adventurer? I'm the head of Atino Village. Call me Reed. Isn't this place so peaceful? Isn't this peaceful place we have here, don't you think? Indeed, yes. We're finally feeling a bit of recovery from the Great Calamity. Our village is pleasant, peaceful, and has plenty of food to go around. Please stay as long as you'd like. Alright, cool. I wonder what he would have done if I said no. Been like, nah, bitch. You ain't got shit here. Is there a torch around here? There isn't. So I guess I do gotta go get a Boko Club or something. There's so many fucking lantern things. Like, where do you start? Guess the game didn't make it that easy either. So, I'm gonna fly my way downtown. Flying fast. Look at that. I am homebound. Well, there's a broom, but I don't think that's gonna work. Need a torch. I don't need a mop. I need a... I don't need a mop. I need a torch. Should have had some. Chicken. Got a bird egg. This is Skyrim. I would have got fucking killed because I took that. Alright. Well, there's no torches there. Rather unpleasant, if you ask me. How dare you not have what I need. Alright, let's see. Silver long sword, help me out here. I need to find two goblins that have fucking vocal clubs. Well, that works too. Of course. That stupid crap. Shut up. I ain't yelling for nothing. Look at you. Dead on the floor. Get a life. All right, so we do gotta make room. Chop the tree down. And this throwing spear, cause who needs it? All right, we got what we need. Oh, those are deer. I was gonna say, are those more freaking moblins? All right, guys, we are making our way. Oh, stupid lizard. Can we get fucking crickets now? It's getting late.
Coming through, farmer. Give me crickets. Give me crickets, Jiminy Cricket. Give me crickets, give me crickets. Jiminy Cricket! Lighty. Hi, hey, Lighty. Hello. The East Wind General Store. Take a look. No thanks. Oh, I can't find no crickets. Need crickets. Alright, this is exactly the way I want to go. Damn it. Can't catch a frog? Okay. Ooh. I say, what am I if I can't catch a frog? A fool? A sham? A fake? Alright, so I kind of know what path I'm going to take with the freaking flame. But, you know. I'm not going to do it right now. So, alright guys, that's it for today. We traveled a lot, obviously. We got a few things covered, and we did a couple of shrines. Hopefully we can do those other shrines next time. Get this thing out of the way. Maybe find a hidden shrine. But, um, yeah guys, this is Zelda. Not much happens in the span of an hour and a half, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.